Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you about variables, uh, some escape sequences, and I will be showing you a basic calculator that will only do addition, but you can apply yourself and make whatever you want. So, let's get started. Alright, now we're going to do the same thing that we did in the first tutorial. We're going to do include IO stream. We're also going to do using namespace std. And we're going to start our, our main function. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the rest here. Turn 0 and ending function. I encourage you to do this because it uh, makes it a lot easier to recognize when you get bigger programs so you don't forget to close this main function off. Now, <coughs> first of all, here's how you uh, you have two different types of data types which are needed to uh, create a variable. Vista sucks sometimes. But anyway, here's the syntax for a variable. You have a data type and then you space. You have a variable name. That can be pretty much whatever you want as long as it starts with a the letters of the alphabet. You can't start with or an underscore. You can't understand you can't start with a uh, number. And then you have the semicolon to close that off. Now, you have two different types of, you have a bunch of different types of data types, but there's two different types of data types. There's unsigned and signed. Unsigned is a uh, always zero or positive. It can't ever be negative. And then signed is the, uh, it can be negative, positive, or zero. And if you don't, if you don't specify signed or signed, unsigned, then the data type is automatically recognized as signed. So what we're going to do, we're, we're going to deal with signed today. So uh, I'm going to make you a basic calculator here. And to start off, we're going to create our first variable. We're going to have our first number variable, which is going to be double D. And I'm just going to put first. You can do whatever you want but that's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to have double D second. Oops, that's a period now. So I'm going. Okay, now that we have our variables declared, we can uh, start our basic output. And I'm going to put C out. You guys already know what this means, so I'm not going to go over it. Uh, Please enter the first number you would like to, you would like to add. Okay. Oops. No. No. Do C N. D first. Now here we're inputting the number the, the user enters and it's going to save it into this which is what a variable does and uh, after this what we're going to do is I'm going to do C out please enter the second Now here, I'm, I'm going to do an escape function for you guys. Now, you have this slash, backslash, and then in. 
and what that does is it starts it, it spaces and it's a it's a line spacer since you can't put end l after this uh, I'm going to space this so it'll be more neat when we run the program. And there's other escape functions. I'll try to make a chart for you guys and upload it to my website. But, <coughs> excuse me, for this right now, this is what I'm going to use. And now I'm going to C input D second, which takes the second number the user inputs and saves it in here be used later on. Okay. Now, we're going to get to the math part. Fun stuff. I'm going to C out, and then I'm going to do another one of those escape sequences, and I'm going to say the total of the two numbers you entered is and then I'm going to have D first then I'm going to put a oops, plus D second I'm going to have a equal sign here and then I'm going to have in parentheses this is where it actually does the math you can do the math up up at the top but I'm just going to do it all at once and what we do is the first first and then plus the second okay Indels and then now I'm going to put a system pause and I'll show you a couple other system functions here in just a second but here we go so this is our basic calculator this should work so I'm going to compile it to find out. Once again, we're going to debug, start without debugging, or it's Control F5. And it says I have builders. Oh, I forgot that. Yeah, you can you can follow this down here, where it gives you the error. Just click on that line and click Go to Next Message, which is this little arrow, and it'll show you where the the uh, mistake is. And it says syntax error missing, and then it has a semicolon in single quotes before return. So it's missing the semicolon, which is this is how it was, and then it's missing the semicolon before return, which means it's right there. Put the semicolon in there, and now it should work. Alright, that works. Now let's try it. One is into the second number you would like to add. Two. One plus two equals three. Okay, it works. I'm just putting space, I just put spaces in there so that when I run it, it will put space in between the equal sign. I love this stuff sometimes. Okay, now we have this. Two. Oops, can't do that with this one. It's two equals four. Okay, now you see that I have double indels, which double space this. And then when I went to this one, it spaced it there too. And so Let's go ahead and take these off, and I'll show you what they don't, what you, what the, what it does without it. Our 
computer stuff and lag here. What the? Okay, I don't know what this is, so I'm going to pause this and then I'll be back. Ah, stupid me. What I did was I left the uh, program running, and so you can't have two programs running at the same time in the debug console at least. So, try this again. And as you see, it comes up. D2. And then now, since I took that escape function out, it doesn't double space out there. Then you enter 2 again. I just like the way it's double spaced everywhere. It looks a lot cleaner to me. So I'll put those back in there. Now, now I'll show you a couple of these system functions that I was talking about. So if you want to uh, title, change the title of your program, what you can do is type system parentheses title oh that's gotta be in quotes space whatever you want to call it I'm gonna call it addition calculator okay and now we'll see what this does Now, as you see, it updated addition calculator. Okay, now if you want to change the color, I'll show you a little trick that I found. And what you do is type color and then have your number, it's, it's in numbers, so I'm going to have uh, Alright, and here, this has all the color, the, the digits that you can use. As you see, black is zero and white is all the way to F. If you've ever done any HTML, it's basically the same thing. And so, let's see, what kind of colors do we want to do? Let's, let's do blue. Blue with, uh, let's do blue with bright white, so that'll be... It'll be one F. The computer's lagging with Camtasia here. And as you see, we have blue with bright white text. The the first the first digit is the uh, background color and the second one is the text color. So I'd let you know that. So we have that. And I think that's all I was going to go over. So until the next tutorial, just keep experimenting and uh, try to figure things out on yourself. If you want, try to figure out how to. Uh, uh, Put subtraction in here, same principle, but you can't do both with this. So, the next tutorial I'll go over some switches and teach you how to do a more advanced calculator. So, visit my website at www.geocities.com slash computersmplus, I'll type that up here. And I have all kinds of stuff on there. I will have 
source code posted up there sometime this week. And I'll also have the higher resolution video of this. And uh, so here's what it looks like. To get to the tutorials, go to tutorials and click C++ video tutorials. I'm on a higher resolution so this doesn't screw up. It doesn't look like this. As you see, I have a download higher resolution video and source code. And it will be the second video will be listed under here. And uh, check out my forum and uh, sign up. I can answer all your questions in there. Nobody's joined yet. Need some need some members. So just check that out and till next time, that's it. Bye.